Welcome to Run On Partisan Non Bias News. I am your host, Ellen Mutanis. And I am your other host, Don Scotch. I sure would like a tall glass of scotch right now. Okay, let's go check out the action between Socrates and Crito live at the Parthenon. I have often told you, Socrates, that I am in a constant difficulty about my two sons. What am I to do with them? There is no hurry about the younger one, who is only a child, but the other, Critobulus, is jetting on, and needs someone who will improve him. I cannot help thinking, when I hear you talk, that there is a sort of madness in many of our anxieties about our children. In the first place, about marrying a wife of good family to be the mother of them, and then, about heaping up money for them, and yet taking no care about their education. But then again, when I contemplate any of those who pretend to educate others, I am amazed. To me, if I am to confess the truth, they all seem to be such outrageous beings, so that I do not know how I can advise the youth to study philosophy. Dear Crito, do you not know that in every profession the inferior sort are numerous and good for nothing, and the good are few and pay little price? Certainly they are in my judgment. Well, and do you not see, that in each of these arts, the among you are ridiculous performers? Yes, indeed, that is very true. And will you on this account, shun all these pursuits yourself, and refuse to allow them, to your son? That would not be reasonable, Socrates. Do you then, be reasonable, Crito? and do not mind whether teachers of philosophy are good or bad, but think only of philosophy, herself. Try and examine her well, and truly, and if she be evil, seek to turn away all men from her, and not your sons only. But if Sheb, what I believe that she is, then follow her and serve her, you and your house, as the saying is, and be of good cheer. Well said Socrates. Thank you. Well, that sure ended well. Tune in next time as we will have more critical objective thinking to pass on to you very soon. Oh now, I really need that scotch. Yeah no, Ellen, my last name is scotch, ha ha.